who shows up? You know. We don't know what to do. Are you saying that rather? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm the uh, Samani Riverkeeper. That's uh, a project in a staff position with an uh, outfit called Walls Watershed Coalition Inc. That's the WWALS. It includes 10,000 square miles of the Samani River Basin, including the Latin Pond, which goes to the Little River. Um, there's a fat, frequently asked question over there on the table, which I'll know a lot more. And we have a bunch of other projects. <coughs> Which are, for example, water trails. Here we have brochures with the Black Water River Water Trail, <coughs> Little River Water Trail, a bunch of those over there. We got where you can put in the maps, the uh, maps of the water trail, how far it is. It's very useful, you know. People put in on the river, they'll put in like US 82 on your lap and follow a lap and follow it, you're going to get to Lake in the day. Not going to happen. <laughs> so it's best if they have a more realistic expectation. We also do, and our basic goal is fishable, swimmable, drinkable water. I, I don't have to tell y'all that everything in South Georgia depends on water, especially groundwater, because that's what we all drink from, what we use for agriculture, industry, everything. So trying to help protect that is what we're about. We also do a bunch of outings. Let's see if I can get this right side up. Yes, so this is a nice map I got last weekend down at Stephen C. Foster State Park. That was the edge of Connecticut Swamp. That's over here. We did an outing where we stayed at Richard's Fish Camp just outside the refuge. And we paddled down the Samani to there. And the next day we paddled up to Billy's Island. Very nice paddle. We had people come from Brunswick, Tallahassee, Sanford, Florida. That's three hours from the south of Atlanta. Where that is. Um, so it's part of the draw of the swamp. It's a very important place, known worldwide. And unfortunately, it's now threatened by a strip mining. Uh, I understand some of you haven't heard about this, so I'll say a few words about it. Between Moniac and St. George, way down here on the south southeast side, about here, on a road called T Model Road, if you look to your left, if you head to St. George, you'll see a crane sticking up where their heavy equipment is. It's a bunch of coal miners from Alabama who want to strip mine for titanium dioxide. The most popular use of that is white paint. Now, I personally don't think that you should risk the swamp for white paint. And the swamp interchanges water with the groundwater. The, the, the miners' own study says they'll lower the local aquifer level by several feet. And if they get anything into the groundwater or into the aquifer water, it's going to interchange. So these same miners are actually still under a consent order in Florida for three uh, Camours titanium mines in North Florida, where during Hurricane Irma, these were the only three, other than a couple of vehicle wrecks, um, the only three pollution spills in the Swanee River Basin in Florida, where these same people let wastewater escape. They also were not uh, collecting appropriate water quality samples, they were not doing reports. So, it doesn't sound like the kind of people who won't mind it. Also, the president of this company, Twin Pines Minerals LLC, was one of the people who promoted two biomass plants in North Georgia, Franklin and Madison County. And, uh, Franklin County actually voted a resolution in support of the, the biomass plant. Five years later, they came back and sued them because of noise violations, smell violations, massive fish kill. The state of Georgia had to literally pass a law to stop and burn and railroad ties with all those chemicals in there getting into the air and the water. So, once again, it doesn't sound like the kind of people you want next to the swamp. Now, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers was supposed to be reviewing this, but October of last year they decided there's no waters of the U.S. there, which I don't quite understand, but that's what they decided. So, the Georgia Environmental Protection Division has five <coughs> permit applications. They're trying to review them as early as the Corps. For example, on the 5th of December, 
they sent another set of questions to the miners, including things like, these uh, settling ponds, what are you going to line them with? You know, so it doesn't get down into the aquifer, the stuff they dug up, and the bentonite and other things they've been using. It seems like it's kind of an afterthought to the miners to like, line their ponds. So there's a bunch of other questions like that. Uh, things like, uh, it's probably that mercury comes through the air from Black Share up right there north of Bacon and lands in the rivers and the swamp and on the land. If they're digging this up, they will stir up the mercury. We don't want that in our waters. So I could go into a lot more detail, but I think I better not. I'm just looking at it like I probably shouldn't. So <laughs> even if they just change the water level in the swamp, way up on the other side, see if I get this right, way up near Waycross. Open up the small park, they're quite concerned about that because if the water level goes down, there's less that they can do in the boating. And of course, the swamp is the headwaters of the St. Mary's River and the Sawani River. So, a bunch of um, cities and counties, I think most of them are represented right here, have already passed resolutions supporting the swamp and opposing the mine, for example, the city of Homeland which I believe is in Charlton County. Charlton County is the only county that passed a resolution supporting the mine, which, if I understand correctly, was because of the promise of jobs. But you know, think about Franklin County and that biomass plant. That's what they thought, too. So, Homeland, um, Kingsland, um, St. Mary's, and then uh, Ware County, then we're County jointly passed a resolution with Waycross. And then we've got one that uh, I promised I was going to brag on the city of Valdosta. The city of Valdosta is the most recent to pass such a resolution, which uh, recognizes particularly the Sawani River. So what I would like to recommend is that any of your counties that have not passed such a resolution or cities in support of the swamp proposing the mine, could you please consider doing so? And I understand as represented here from the governor, uh, could you please uh, insist on EPD doing as much with you as possible about these mining permits? Because it really doesn't seem like a good idea to me to risk the swamp and the aquifer and the Swanee and St. Mary's rivers for a white paint. Thank you. Thank you, Matt.